Hi everyone! Welcome to Snowy Stories. I'm Miss Laura from the Huntington Public Library um, and today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite snow themed books and my favorite snow themed songs and then I'm going to show you two different ways to make homemade snow. So these are the books we're going to read today. I've got for you The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. This is a classic snow book, one of my favorites and also one of my favorites, Froggy Gets Dressed by Jonathan London. Um, and I think I'll keep the songs a surprise. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll move on to our craft. So, let's begin. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. The Snowy Day. To Tip, John, and Rosalie. That's the dedication page. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. You can see, look how high. It's like twice his size. Have you ever seen that when you go outside and the snow is piled up really high because they move it to make room for cars and people to get by so they just put it all in a big pile? That's what's happening here. It's all in a big pile. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his, po his toes pointing out like this. So see his heels are together here and his toes point out and then he walked with his toes pointing in like this. So again, now he's got, he's got his heels apart and his toes pointing in. Next time you have a snowy day, you should try that because it makes some cool different tracks. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And here, he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. So now he's got three tracks. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for snacking a snow covered tree. Smack, 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 smack. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. But look, he just keeps going. Didn't bother him, he's having a good time. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. And I bet some of you have done that because we did have a snow day um, pretty recently. And um, I know, I know in my house, we did a snowman and some angels. And I know those are the kinds of things that are a little bit easier to do. Well, not super easy. They still take work, but they're fun. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow. Oh my goodness, that's a big, tall, and then a big, tall mountain. And then he slid all the way down. Woo! He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket his pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Does anyone know where the snowball went? See if you can take a guess to see what happened to the snowball. I think maybe I won't tell you and I'll let you guess it. See if you can figure it out. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. 
After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And I just think this page is incredible. Look how tall that snow is compared to Peter and his friend. Oh my goodness. That looks like fun. The end. And that is the snowy day. So now I think, let's move on to a song. I've got a couple songs lined up for you today. And the first one I wanna sing is about a snowman, which Peter made in the book. So this one, um, I'm gonna step back, see if you can see most of me anyway. It goes like this, we'll sing it twice so you can follow along the second time if you've never heard it before. Ready, so we're gonna clap. I'll squat down a little. Once there was a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. Once there was a snowman, tall, tall, tall. Reach up really high, you can't even see my hands, they're so high up. In the sun he melted, he melted, he melted. In the sun he melted, small, small, small. He gets down into a ball, a melty ball. My cat is here to join us today. So let's sing it again, ready? Ready, Benjamin? <laughs> Once there was a snowman, a snowman, a snowman. Once there was a snowman, tall, tall, tall. In the sun he melted, he melted, he melted. In the sun he melted, small, small, small. <laughs> I think maybe we'll try one more song before we move on to our other books since I've got, I actually have three songs for you. Sorry. Um, so this is a song where you're gonna use all five of your fingers and we're gonna sing about five little snowman, snowmen, sorry, five little snowmen all in a row. So hold up five fingers and it goes like this, ready? Five little snowmen all in a row, five little snowmen all made of snow. Now take your other hand and make a sun. Out popped the sun and it shone all day. And one little snowman melted away. And now we have four little snowmen. Ready? Four little snowmen all in a row. Four little snowmen all made of snow. Out popped the sun and it shone all day. And one little snowman melted away. Three little snowmen all in a row. Three little snowmen, all made of snow. Out popped the sun and it shone all day. And one little snowman, man, melted away. I'm in trouble with that today. Let's going to switch to these two fingers because it's a little more comfortable for me. Two little snowmen, all in a row. Two little snowmen, all made of snow. Out. Pop the sun and it shone all day and one little snowman melted away. And now we have one lonely snowman. One little snowman all in a row. One little snowman all made of snow. Out pop the sun and it shone all day and the one little snowman melted away. The end. Now I've got our other book. This is Froggy Gets Dressed by Jonathan London. Froggy Gets Dressed. It was cold. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Snow, snow, he sang. I want to play in the snow. Go back to sleep, Froggy, said his mother. Don't you know, frogs are supposed to sleep all winter. Wake up when the snow melts. No, no, cried Froggy, I'm awake, awake. I wanna go out and play in the snow. So, Froggy put on his socks, zoop. Froggy pulled on his boots, zup. Put on his hat, zap. Tied on his scarf, zwip! 
tugged on his mittens, zoom, and flopped outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. He looks pretty happy. Froggy! Called his mother. What? Yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, cried Froggy. I forgot to put on my pants. He flopped back inside, flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, pulled off his boots, he left his socks on, and slipped his pants on. Zip! All right, now, I skipped a page here. Then, he pulled on his boots, zup, pulled on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, zwit, tugged on his mittens, zoom, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy! Called his mother. What? Yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. Oops, he cried. I forgot to put on my shirt. And your coat, added his mother. He flopped back inside, flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, took off his hat, he left his pants, boots, and socks on, and buttoned up his shirt, zip, zip, zip. Then he snapped on his coat, zip, put on his hat, zap, tied on his scarf, zwip, tugged on his mittens, Zoom, and flopped back outside into the snow. Flop, flop, flop. Whew. Well, he should be all set now, I think. He's got everything, right? Froggy! Called his mother. What? Yelled Froggy. Did you forget to put something on? Froggy looked down. He had on his mittens. He had on his scarf. He had on his coat. He had on his shirt. He had on his pants, he had on his boots, he had on his socks. He reached out, yep, he had on his hat. What could he be missing? Any ideas? Hmm, well, let's see. Your underwear! His mother laughed. Oops cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. He looks a little embarrassed. And look, you know, this is actually the first time I've ever even noticed this. His friends in the background, they're giggling. He flopped back inside, flop, flop, flop. Tugged off his mittens, untied his scarf, unsnapped his coat, unbuttoned his shirt, unzipped his pants, pulled off his boots, took off his socks, he left his hat on, and slipped and slipped his long johns on with a zap of elastic. Woo! Then he put on one sock, zoop, pulled on one boot, zap, tugged on one min, zoom, started to tug on the other and let it drop and said, I'm too tired. And went back to sleep. Good night, Froggy. The end. Isn't that a good one? I love that one. All right, I think we should sing one more snow song before we do our snow craft. So this one is um, about snowflakes and it's to the tune of Twinkle and it goes like this. We can go like this. Since with Twinkle, we do some motions. We'll do this, ready? Snowflake, snowflake in the sky. Love to watch you floating by. Down you fall upon the ground. Down you fall without a sound. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky. 
love to watch you floating by. One more time, ready? Snowflake, snowflake in the sky. Love to watch you floating by. Down you fall upon the ground. Down you fall without a sound. Snowflake, snowflake floating by. Snowflake, love to watch you floating by. I kind of missed the lyrics up a little at the end, but that's okay. It still works. Good job. You probably did a better job than me, in fact, that time. Um, okay, so now we're going to move on to the homemade snow portion of this. So I have to stop, move over there into the kitchen, and I will be right back with the snow. Okay, I'm in the kitchen, and I'm going to show you the two ways to make homemade snow. The first one requires only a bar of ivory soap, but the catch is that it has to be ivory brand. So for this one, all you do is put the ivory soap on a microwave safe plate. I'm using a paper plate and microwave it on high for two minutes. And you'll see over the course of the two minutes, if you want to peek in, it will start to expand. So we'll wait for two minutes. Okay, my two minutes are up. Whoa! Here's what I learned. <laughs> and I've done this before. It has to be really centered in the microwave um, because mine wasn't and a little bit got on the sides. Not a big deal, I can clean it up. But um, maybe a tip going forward would be to try your best to make it as perfectly centered as possible. So anyway, at the end of the two minutes, um, I hope you could see this. I think you can. Um, at the end of the two minutes, um, you'll see that your ivory soap is gigantic like snow. But don't take it out right away. It's really hot. It was just the microwave for two minutes. So give it a minute or two to cool. Um, I'm going to just see. Yeah, mine's okay to touch. Um, I'm going to put what fell off back on the plate. And here is one of my two homemade snows. Now this one's not quite as fun to play with as the other one. I'll be honest, the other one is probably a little cooler, but this one is super easy and definitely fun. Um, and I made this one at home with my daughter when she was, um, I don't know, probably around two. And she played with this for a long time. So by me saying it's not as cool, it's, 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 not, it's not saying much because it's pretty cool. <laughs> so take a look. This is our homemade snow. Be careful, it comes out hot. And um, yep, now I'm gonna show you the other way to make the other kind of snow, which I think, um, like I said before, I think is a little bit more, um, you could do more with it. Like this you can play with. It's a really great like sensory toy. Um, you can play with it in that you can break it apart and kind of like mush it back together. The other one though is a little more um, snow-like in that you can fill a bin with it and you can play with little toys in it and it, um, in my opinion, I think it, it stands it stands to, um, it lasts a little longer, I guess. So moving on, now I'll show you the second way to make snow and I'm actually gonna move you back over there to the other area of my kitchen because I have a little more room. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the other way to make homemade snow. And like I said, this way I think is super fun. I think this makes a really nice like snow product. Um, so what you need for this is two one pound boxes of baking soda and one cup of white colored conditioner. Any kind, I would use whatever's the cheapest um, and the one cup measuring cup. Um, and I usually grab a spoon too just to like help, um, you know, like, um, put it in the measuring cup and take it out of the measuring cup. So here we go. I'm gonna try to tilt this down a little so you can see. Nope, didn't really work. Okay, well, I'll hold it up. All right, so let's fill up our one cup measuring cup. And you can totally, you know, uh, half this recipe and just do one box of baking soda and a half a cup of conditioner, whatever works for you. Or if you have 
a lot of kids or if you're in like a bubble with some other families and you want to double it, whatever, um, make it however you see fit. But I'm making this for my kids and I have two and this is how much I'm going to do. It doesn't have to be like super exact either, but approximately. All right. So to me, this looks like a cup. And now I'll use my spoon to help get it out. I'm putting mine in um, like a disposable um, tin. So this is leftover from the holidays. So here I go, I'm globbing it in there. Okay. And now we're gonna put our two boxes of baking soda in or however much you're gonna use if you're modifying the recipe at all. And you might want to keep that spoon on hand actually for mixing. I think I remember from in the past when I made this that it was easiest to mix it with my hands, but I wouldn't want to start mixing it with my hands. I would want to like start with the spoon and then once it's sort of a little bit closer to like a snow texture, then go in with my hands. So here we go. Now I'm gonna use my spoon again to sort of get the mixing started. So, I mean, as you could see, this one takes like a tiny bit more work and effort than the one that we made with just microwaving the ivory soap. But I think that the um, end product is a little bit better. Um, so that's why I'm showing you two different ways. I guess it just depends on like what you are in the mood to do. <laughs> um, this one also has less of a chance of ruining your microwave, so that's a perk. Okay, and it's starting to get like pretty mixed here, so I think just maybe another couple of seconds, and then I'll go in and uh, finish it up with my hands. I should also add that both of these mixtures, both types of homemade snow, smell delicious. <laughs> so that's always nice too. And for this one, in the past, um, I've, my, I've, um, once it's all mixed and good, I, I, I've stuck it in the refrigerator just to make it cold. So it's like more resembling real snow. You like a hundred percent don't have to do that. Um, but I did and, and I thought I like, I, I liked it. Okay. So now I'm going to finish it up with my hands. Makes your hands really, really nice in the end. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good. Sometimes it comes out a little different than other times. It just depends like how tightly you pack your cup with the um, conditioner. This is actually one of my wetter snow, snow uh, recipes. I must have packed my conditioner in a little more tight than I have in the past, but it doesn't matter. Okay, there it is. So actually because it's like a wetter, wetter recipe, it probably will glob into like a snowman or something. A little more easily. So you can see a snowball. I can make another. <laughs> this one. Yeah, it, it really depends. You know, if you if you um if you don't use if you don't use the cup as tightly packed, it will probably be a little looser. Um, but maybe a little a little more difficult to um to pack. So eh. You can play with it a little. And um I put, took some toys out. You know, it's fun to play with. Put a little, sorry, here we go. <laughs> put some little toys in it too and play like that. So that's two different ways to make homemade snow. Um, I need to wash my hands, but thank you for watching. I hope that you find yourself making one or both of these different um, recipes and uh, have fun and I will see you soon. Bye.